To prepare for and perhaps reduce global climate change, we need a better understanding of what's on the horizon. Sophisticated computer models that project global temperatures into the next century are helping fill in the picture. We've been trying to look at how man-made emissions are going to alter the Earth's atmosphere and alter the climate that responds to those changes. We're fortunate to have an excellent record of how the climate has changed in the past. It's buried in the ice cores that we've extracted from Greenland and Antarctica. Core samples reaching thousands of feet into the ice have yielded more than 100,000 years worth of climate data trapped within isotopes and ancient gas bubbles. What they reveal is that over thousands of years, the climate goes through natural warming and cooling periods in a pattern that looks much like a heartbeat. But the warming we're seeing now is off rhythm. What we're seeing now is occurring much faster. Rather than happening over tens of thousands of years, we're seeing very rapid change occurring on just the time scale of a single century. Scientists use past climate data to project climate models into the future. This map shows how the Earth's temperature has increased since the beginning of the Industrial Age. The yellows and reds show where the average global temperatures have been rising. This timeline is showing how the temperature all over the globe has changed since the beginning of the 20th century. And the simulation that we're seeing on the map is sort of a middle-of-the-road pathway. Even in this middle-of-the-road pathway, the whole globe gets hotter. Look at how warm California has gotten four or five degrees hotter than our historical climate. It doesn't take much to make a big difference. Consider that during the last major ice age, the world's average temperature was just a few degrees cooler than it is today. California is now projecting an increase of three to six degrees warmer by the end of this century. So people might ask, why should we trust a climate model? After all, it's only a model. We don't just trust the models blindly. We're literally swimming in measurements about how the atmosphere is changing, how plants on land are changing, how the oceans are changing. And we test our models to make sure that they can reproduce those observations from satellites, balloons, measurements on land, measurements from deep inside the ocean. Fortunately, we've been forewarned, and we think we've been forearmed. The fact that people are causing climate change means that we have to change how we produce energy. It's really that simple. The models can show us some of what likely lies ahead, but the future still holds many questions. What will California look like when our children and grandchildren are raising their families?